I know this one's a little bit out of frame because he's bending, but I'm thinking once we put the die on it, he'll be a little bit better. So today's video is another Manic Panic video, and that is going to be in the color Hot Hot Pink. So I have my swatches labeled 1 through 12. That's not synonymous with hair levels. 1 is a deep blue, 2 is green, 3 is a natural red, 4 is black, and then from 4 to 11 we have a range that goes to platinum blonde. And then number 12 is supposed to be kind of like the toned version of number 11. And what I like to do is take the dye directly from the container and I'll put that at the top of each swatch. Some people do like to dilute their dyes for a variety of reasons, so I will be diluting the dye as we go down and I will be using a white conditioner for that. So I have a lot of comparisons to do, which means if I put in the whole portion of me painting the hair dye on, the video will be very, very long. So instead, I'm just going to show you parts of that. And quickly, I do also just want to say that I can't guarantee that how this dye turns out on my swatches is how it's going to turn out on your hair. Everyone's hair is different, so everyone's hair will take dye differently. And it's always best to do as much research as possible before dyeing your hair. For the center, I'm going to do a mixture of a fourth of a teaspoon of dye with a half a teaspoon of diluter. And then the last mixture is going to be a fourth of a teaspoon of dye again, but this time a teaspoon of diluter. Alright, so I'm going to let these sit for roughly like three hours. I will rinse them out, and then when they are dry, we'll come back and do some comparisons. It's a little bit hard for me to tell the undertone of this color just because on number 12, it looks like it's a cool tone pink, and then on the rest of them, it looks a little bit more warm, and I don't know if that's because these hair swatches have more warm tones in them as it is. I think one way to help me tell is if we compare it to Virgin Pink from Arctic Fox, because I remember that one being a little bit more cool too. So this is comparable to number 12. This is comparable to number 11, 10, 9. This is comparable to number 8, 7, 6. Five and three. So for some reason my camera isn't really picking up the difference between the hot hot pink and the virgin pink, but in real life virgin pink is definitely much more cool tone looking than the hot hot pink. I tried editing the colors to make it look more accurate on screen, but it's just not working. So the bottle of the Hot Hot Pink says that it glows under black light, so I wanted to try that really quick. I'm going to turn the lights off. Um, Virgin Pink is not UV reactive. So all the ones that are glowing are obviously Hot Hot Pink, and then the ones that are not glowing are Virgin Pink. So I don't know if it's hard to tell because I know this camera doesn't pick up this UV light as well. The diluted parts, oh my gosh. The diluted parts um, are picking up a little bit neon, but you can really see the blonde underneath. Uh, and then this part is very UV reactive. On the blonde pieces, the hot, hot pink does look a little bit more neon, which again makes sense. Once we start getting to the darker pieces, like 6 and 7, I would say the hot, hot pink still does look a little bit brighter. but. Also, I feel like if they weren't right next to each other, it would be very hard to tell the difference. 
However, the diluted parts for a virgin pink definitely dye the swatch a little bit better than the hot, hot pink, so I think that has something to do with how bright it is. It's probably a little bit harder for the pigment to stick once it's diluted because it is such a bright dye. And the same applies for number three. Top looks brighter, but the diluted parts look more pink for virgin pink. Arctic Fox does have a pinkish dye that is UV reactive, and that one is called Electric Paradise. This is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, and 9. Um, Electric Paradise definitely has a lot more orange undertoned, and it's a little bit more pastel. Under the UV light, they actually look close to how they look now when they're next to each other. So the hot, hot pink, very, you know, fluorescent pink, and then the Electric Paradise almost looks more like a fluorescent orange. I haven't done all of the Lime Crime ones, so I can't remember if they have like a hot pink, they might, but I did one called Strawberry Jam, and this one is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, number 9, and number 8. So I thought maybe diluted it could look similar, but the strawberry jam is a little bit more on the warmer side, a little bit more orange. And this is comparable to number three. Not that strawberry jam looks natural on the red swatch, but in comparison to the hot hot pink, it does pull a little bit more natural looking, probably because the strawberry jam leans a little bit more warm toned. I would assume. I did a pastel dye from Ion called Flamingo and this one's not super similar but I did just want to compare it really quick so that you could see the undertone differences. So this is comparable to number 12 and this is comparable to number 11. Flamingo is kind of like that baby pink so even when the hot hot pink is diluted it's undertones are slightly different. Um, I would say the flamingo is maybe a little bit more muted, not quite as like bright, but you know I guess they're not too too far off. And this is comparable to number 10. Um, because flamingo is a pastel dye it's best for very very light hair so if you have anything darker than platinum blonde the flamingo probably won't dye and you're probably better off diluting a more pigmented dye like virgin pink or this hot pink. I have done one special effects dye and that is called burgundy wine. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10. So right off the bat burgundy wine is clearly much more burgundy looking. Even when it's diluted it kind of holds a more berry tone and it almost looks a little bit like purpley red, which obviously makes sense for the name. <laughs> and the Directions dye in the color Tulip. This is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. So firstly, the Directions dye, the Tulip, it's not uh, meant to be UV reactive, but I've noticed on the very, very light swatch, it does kind of shine under a black light, but the rest don't really react. It also seems to be a very pigmented dye because not only does it dye the darker swatches, but so do the diluted portions. To me, it looks like the Tulip runs a little bit more red than the hot pink. You can really see it on number 13 and 12. So after seeing these together with everything, I think that the hot, hot pink is kind of like the right in between, not too cool, not too warm. And on its own, it is a bit brighter than the tulip. It's got that like intense quality. <laughs> now that we've seen our comparisons, let's go and do the close-ups.
Thank you so very, very much for watching. If you have a request, I do have a link down in the description below to a Google form for requests. Just remember that I like to do dyes that are not tested on animals. I hope this video helped and I hope to see you in the next one.